Welcome everybody, this is your boy Dryden Matoro and we are here with another video. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody, before we do get straight into the video, I would like to give a big shout out and thank you to the supporters of this YouTube channel. A big shout out to Weez GNZ Gaming, Maori Superman YT, Foxy and even Denti. Now these people are our YouTube members on our YouTube platform and I really do appreciate their support. So why don't you go in some of the description below and go and check them out. And we're going to get straight into the video now this video is all about on how to install Kira OC inside your Grand Theft Auto V folder so like always make sure that you download and install all of the latest requirements this in some of the description below once you have completed that process then download this mod and I will leave this mod in some of the description below so let's get started once you have downloaded all of your files, go to your Grand Theft Auto V game, hover over it, right click and open file location. Next, go to your mods folder, then go to your update folder, then go to your time 64 folder, then go to your DRC packs folder. Now open up your Kira extract folder. Now all you've got to do is go to your SP folder now select this folder and drag it inside your DRC packs folder. Now, next go back to your main folder inside your extract folder. Then now open up your text file. Now go scroll down just a little bit more. Now copy your DRC list line over here. Copy this, okay. Now exit out of your text file and exit out of your extract folder go back to your Grand Theft Auto V main folder right click refresh your game folder exit out of your game folder then go to your open IV double click and now once your application is open go to your Grand Theft Auto V windows now this process will take a few seconds once your application is open go to edit mode and then select yes now go to your mods folder go to your update folder then go to update.rpf then go to common go to data then now all you got to do is scroll right down to the bottom until you see drclist.xml hover over the file right click and select edit scroll right down to the bottom to the last line then press enter and now paste your code right there then save go back to your DRC list.xml and just double check to see if it's there yes it is exit out of your application edit mode GTA V exit out of your open IV now before we do go in the game I forgot to mention that we do have other files in here and that is called menu so if you want to have the menu outfits too then all you got to do is download menu i'll leave menu in some of the description below it's really in easy to install and then now all you got to do is just only go to your grand theft auto v main folder then go to menu stuff folder then go to outfits and now all you got to do is just go to your outfits folder inside your extract folder and now select all the files and then drag it inside your outfit folder inside your menu and then there you go and now exit out of your extract folder then go back to your Grand Theft Auto V main folder right click refresh your game folder exit out of your game folder right click refresh your desktop and I'll see you guys in the game and now we are in the game and our game did not crash so to actually change your model all you got to do is use your trainer any trainer 
but I always use Mino, so if you're using Mino, then all you gotta do is just press F8 twice, then go to play option, then go to model changer, then go right down the bottom and I'll just type Kira. I'm not gonna press enter and type K-I-R-A, then now uh, your model will change. Now, the outfit looks terrible, okay, but don't worry about that. Press F8 again, then go to play options, then go to wardrobe, then go to outfits, and now over here you can change the outfits to whatever you want. This one, press apply, and then now we got this, this one over here. So yeah, we got this one. You can change it to this one over here if you want to, apply. Then now we got that one over there. You can change it to whatever you want, okay? To your desire. Uh, so this mod does work 100% and I hope you guys do like it. And now we're back again, so I hope you guys do enjoy that mod. That mod is an awesome mod. But like always, if you guys do get stuck installing this mod, then please let me know in the comments and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that. Or if you do get stuck installing any other mods, then please let me know in the comments and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that. And if you guys do need help and support fast, then I do have my Discord server inside my description below. So go and join my Discord server and make sure that you do join the PC modding support server. So with that all said, if you guys did enjoy this video, or if this video was helpful, then smash that like button and subscribe for more content and tutorials. And I will see you all on my next video. Thank you for watching. Peace. And I'm out.